Congratulations to Steven Bodich, who dominated the AT&T Byron Nelson, cruising to a four-shot victory after his final round 64. Now another player who dominated the course this week was the weather, and it was really rude. The rain was so heavy Thursday night that the par 4 14th was converted into a 103 yard par 3 because the fairway was underwater. One fan even captured a video of a fish swimming in one of the bunkers. Our own Amanda Balionis had to come to the rescue of a misplaced turtle on Sunday who must have still been disoriented from the weekend weather, but Amanda helped the little guy make his way back to his rightful home. The weather actually worked to one player's advantage. Gary Woodland found the bottom of the cup on the short and 14th hole, making it the second ace of the tournament. Danny Lee was able to card one on the 190-yard 17th hole during the first round. And then over on the web.com tour, both Greg Eason and Jared Hack recorded holes in one during the third round of the Rex Hospital Open. Very impressive guys, but this Michigan couple topped all the ace stories you have ever heard because what they did will probably never happen again. Meet the Blundies, a husband and wife pair who recorded back-to-back -back aces on the 16th hole at Ledge Meadows Golf Course. First Tony with a 7-iron from 135 yards out and then Janet with a pitching wedge from 110 yards out and the best part is she called it from the tee box. I'd say their golf games are in pretty good shape. I'll tell you who is not in good shape though. Millions of hearts all around the world breaking because Roy McIlroy has a girlfriend. Rory showed up to Royal County down for the first round of his home tournament with his lady Erica Stoll on his arm and she perfectly nailed the sunglasses on, hood up, no photos please look. Stoll works for the PGA of America and lives in Palm Beach, Florida. Rory said it has been a great six or seven months and he is very happy in his love life. So they finally made their first public appearance together. But honestly, this guy in the background really stole the show from the two lovers. That's all I have for Trending on Tour, but I would love to keep the conversation going. So find me on Twitter using hashtag Trending on Tour and make sure to check back to PGATour.com on Thursday. Amanda Balionis will be back in studio with a brand new takeaway.